Hi folks, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again and we are at Glorious Grafham at long last. I've actually got a day's fishing. Myself and Vince are out, the buzzers are on and we're going to make the most of them. We have been making the most of them, shall I say. We've had a couple of hours fishing already. Um, we got down here and it was absolutely flat calm. And we set up a couple of different methods and we tried a couple of different things all based around buzzer fishing because there's lots of them coming off. As you can see, we're mid-April. Um, it's just warming up slightly and uh, there's nice big black buzzers popping up everywhere and the fish are really feeding on them. So we've got two approaches today, we've got two approaches for these fish and both have been very successful actually. So the first one this morning um, was your indicator, buzzers under the indicator. Now love it or hate it, this is a really good method for catching uh, buzzer feeding fish, especially when they're in this sort of 10 to 12 foot of water. Um, eight weight rod, this is the Witchwood uh, True Fly, 10 foot eight weight rod, rocket floating line and I've got 11 foot of 10 pound Witchwood Ghost Mode line on there and on that we've got three buzzers and I've got some little links up here for you for the buzzers got the heavyweight on the point, nice heavyweight quill on the point two crisp packets and these are equally spread and of course I've got the uh, classic Fario bung best bungs out there on the top dropper there um, just attached to the fly line the second outfit we're going to be using today is a midge tip. This is a 10 foot 7 weight rod, also the true fly, the midge tip. A uh, little 3 foot midge tip, a Rio midge tip this one. Um, again, 10 pound uh, leader and the reason we're going for 10 pound leader is because these are fish are, are hitting hard and we're picking up some really nice fish here in a moment. When they're on the buzzers and hitting the buzzers, you don't want to go light on your fluorocarbon. They're not line shy, these fish. There's just a tinge of colour in the water which is absolutely perfect. Uh, this uh, leader I've got on here is about 18 feet in total. I've got four flies on there, equally spaced apart. And again, I've got three buzzers, um, two crisp packets and a heavy weight quill. And I've got a little fab on the point there as well. And we're going to be fishing these and we have been fishing these outside the lodge and just to the right of the lodge there and we now come over in here into just the corner of Savages and Sanctuary Bay and we're going to drift down this edge here and see if we can pick up a few fish um, and see if we can give you a bit of show for the cameras but uh, sit back and enjoy and we'll see what myself and Vince can do for you. Right there we are back on Grafham, first chuck of the session, flat calm absolutely perfect for fishing the indicator there's buzzers coming off everywhere thinks that will make the day it's our first trip of the season he's on the same setup oh just had a little touch there straight away Vince look just straight away a little bubble wear I'm just gonna give it a little pull away from it Let's see if we can entice him oh gosh I'm not paying attention that went under again Oh dear, rusty, rusty. Give it another little bob away from him. Yep, we might try a bit of. Sh oh, missed him. Right at the boat. Just going to say we might try a bit of straight lining later on or something, but uh, it just seemed such good conditions for fishing the indicator. We thought we'd both set up. It's great fun fishing the bung. As we said earlier, see all these buzzers coming off, loads of them. Little touch there again. Just as it was settling down. We're going to keep quite close to the boat as well because we're not drifting particularly quickly. We haven't even got a drogue in. There's next to no wind at all, so we can keep these nice and close to the boat. They're working plenty of time, and the closer we are to the boat, the easier it is to strike the takes like that. And I don't know why I didn't get him. What's going on, Vince? Come on, third time lucky. There 
and we're going to fish these all the way back to the boat. So we'll be nice and quiet, so you should catch fish right under the rod tip. Oh, <laughs> he had one. <laughs> he's just had one come up and take the bung, look at that. Wow. Have you got a hook in that? Yeah. <laughs> Not enough, obviously. No. There we go, right at the boat. Right at the boat. <laughs> there we go. Only a little one, but uh, very welcome. Uh, oh, Barbless hooks out in the net. Yeah, just one of the more recent stockies, I think. Great. <laughs> there you go. Was that fudge you said there, Vince? Was it? Oh, fudge. <laughs> Did you? There should be some better fish out here as well than these drop off out here. We're just coming up into just that first ledge, that first drop off down here, just past the edge of the lodge. We should bump into a few better fish up here. There'll be plenty of stockies knocking around, but hopefully there'll be one or two of those silver ones up here. But that's not a bad start. There we are, right at the boat. And I had a take as well. Lovely. Point fly again. Point fly. Nice one. Brown. Oh, you got a little brownie. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> You're a bit of a brownie expert, old Vince, every time he comes out with me. Nice, sort of. A little look in the net there. Oh yeah, nice little brownie that. Nice little graph and brownie, one of the recent stockings. Lovely, well done. Right at the boat again. Well, I've got the indicator caught up at the end of my rod. That's not going to help. <laughs> Definitely didn't help. Nearly lost my rod tip there. Just another stocky. He's taking a point fly this time. Come on. That should come out in the net. Lovely barbless flies. There you go. Good. Well, this is certainly starting well. Three in the boat in five minutes. And he's just missed another one. just brought me up in front of him. Oh, did he? Bad angling. Bad angling. Put that one down. Bad angling. So not what to do on the film. <laughs> but we're going to do a whole series on how not to fish. Yeah. It'll be hosted by, <laughs> by our guest host, Vincent. <laughs> Always hang on. That's a good yeah. point. Oh, didn't even need to strike that. Okay. As soon as we found the mother load here. Again on that point fly. Better fish, still a stocky. Better fish. Again hooks out in the net. Nice, nice, nice chunky fish. By keeping them close to the boat, and we're only casting 20 feet there, you can see the takes, you can react to the takes nice and quickly. The further away you throw these from the boat, the harder it is to hit them. And when it's like this, when there's obviously fish swimming underneath us. But uh, this is good fun. Good early season, where well, it's the middle of, middle of April, so it's 
start of my season really on Grafham and it's lovely to get out and under near perfect conditions. Little touch. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've got to give them a second, haven't you? Especially these smaller fish, they seem to be knocking them, playing with them a little bit. Just let them go with it, isn't it? Talk them into it. I think when you get that little dibble, you've got to draw it. Yeah, definitely give them a little pull away, give it a little twitch away. And, and just, yeah, just like that. <laughs> Perfect. Point fly again, so these fish are taking fairly deep. I'm just going to come in quickly. Where are you going? Come on, stand up to get you in. Perfect. Again, point fly, which is that uh, that heavyweight cool buzzer. Out in the net, and away you go. And Vince is in as well. Did he really, really good take? Point fly again. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a better fish, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a bit more of a silver one. Came right at the boat, wasn't he? Point fly again, that's interesting. And um, stuff. Right, well that was a good first drift, about half a dozen fish there between us. Uh, we've had to come off the drift line because in a typical fashion uh, on here people see catching fish and they come and drop anchor over the top of it so we've got to try a different drift now. Um, can't get back on that line because they've taken that for themselves for the day now. This is lovely of them to share the water with the rest of us. And just come a bit further right now. I'm definitely still seeing the old fish moving. We've got a little bit of a ripple coming up now, which is just nice. It's a little bit of a light ripple, still perfect. Boats coming out of the harbour, fairly well distributed. Got a few gone over at the Savages and Sanctuary, got a few gone down to Gaines, and a few come up this side as well. It shows there's plenty of fish everywhere at the moment. And from what I hear in there, they, they have spread out well. They've all been stocked at the lodge, but they've spread out very, very well this season on the back of a southerly wind. They've come out and just blown across the lake or blown down towards the dam. There we go. He's taken the buzzer, that one, the uh, crisp packet. Hooks out in the net. Perfect. A little twitch now and again. Look at that straight away on the twitch. <laughs> straight away on the twitch. Point fly again. That's not a bad stocky that one. A little bit bigger. A little bit fatter. Hooks out in the net. Perfect. Right, 
right on the boat. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Well, it's good fun, that's for sure. It's good fun and that's what we're here for. Well, we had a great little session there on the, the indicator, but we thought we'd try something a little bit different, just because we can. So Vince is stuck with a floating line, and the straight line buzzer set up, and I've got three buzzers on and a fab on a washing line on a midge tip. And um, we're just going to work through the same area again, and just give the flies a little bit of movement this time and see what happens, just to be different. Yeah, a little bit more ripples come through, so we're starting to move ever so slightly. Just enough to be covering a bit of ground. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this won't work. Wow. Must be on the buzzer that, surely. Incredible. What's he taken? He's taken the big buzzer. Right, okay, so washing line works. <laughs> There we go. Excellent start. You can't go wrong at Grafham at the moment. Mind you, are a lot of fish here. They have been stocking in this side of the lake. And the buzzers are really on, and they're really switched on. Let's pop that out again. He took that on the drop. Straighten up and just uh, wait for it to get pulled out of my hand again. Excellent. Oh, the only thing left to try this afternoon is dry flies. It'll be mad to do that. Just let that settle. Just stay in touch with it. And when I think it's got down to depth, we're going to start moving it along a little bit. Just nice and just keeping up with that and I'm really watching this bit of the end here a couple of little twitchy pulls and then just leave it just keep up with it oh little pull there did you see the end of that line move there just going to give it a little twitch back just staying in touch with it that was probably a little nip on the fab that In about 10 foot of water here, 10, 12 foot, it's not very really deep. Grafham's water levels are still down a bit to what they would normally be out here. They're normally about 15, 16 feet out here. Just following that round to the boat. And now I'm just going to start to move that up towards the boat. <laughs> just on the lift. Bang. Just as that buzzer starts to lift, and they love that up and down with the buzzers. It's that up and down motion on the buzzers that they really respond to. And that certainly did. It's on the crisp packet again. Come on, should come out of the net. Lovely. Your turn, Vince. Just straighten up. And again, just let that sink down to depth. Give it a second, just sinking down, sinking down, just staying in touch with it. The boats have seen us catch fish again, so we're getting hounded out again. 
and then when we think that's got down that heavyweight buzzer will be pulling that down the other two buzzers will be pulling that down and we think that's gone down we're going to give that a little little twitch and then just a very very slow figure of eight back to the boat nice and slowly Oh yeah, we've got the right little bum fight here to get in here now with caught fish, look. Oh, there we go, fish, lovely. Lovely. Top buzzer again, better fish this. Yep, better fish this. Nice. Oh yeah, much better, chunkier fish, still a stocky but a nice fish that. Well, that was a quick start, quick free fish there, and that boat came in to ask us what was going on and told them just buzz us. So hopefully they'll start getting a few. We breeze has got up a bit so we pop the drogue in just to control the drift. Just to slow us down a bit. And again, we're just following that around, not moving them at all. The odd little twitch. Like that, and he's one straight in. And really responding to that little twitch. A bit of a slab, a bit of a jump up. Nice fish, nice fish. Another slabby fish that. No, oh, yeah, you can see the size of them against my hand. You know, good, good size stocky. Some of these. Again, that's that little crisp packet there. Just slipped out the side of his mouth. And we'll get that line out from round it. Wonderful. Excellent. And the midge tips are one. Very positive takes on this. <laughs> yeah. Still nothing on the colour. Right, well that's it folks, that's a wrap. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. We had some great fun making this one today. Really enjoyed that. Um, immense sport on Grafham. As always, start of the season, the fish are bang on the buzzers. Um, we've had loads of fish and every single one of them has been on a buzzer pattern. We've had nothing on the colour, anything else we've tried with them. I think the indicator has outfished the straight line in this morning um, by, by quite a margin actually. It seemed to be the way they wanted it, just wanted that static approach with the buzzers. Um, all between that sort of six and ten foot mark, nothing on the top flies. Um, yeah, we've had some great fish as well, not all stockies, we've had some really nice silver fish and Vince has probably had the best fish of the day, knocking about four pound. Um, yeah, and uh, what more can you say? This is Grafham at his absolute best, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Please leave a comment down in the comments box, any videos you'd like to see. Um, just put some suggestions down there for me, click like, click subscribe, and uh, I hope to see you again soon folks. Thanks for watching, bye bye.